All right, today we're gonna to address a problem that I guess is fairly common with these LG washing machines where you push the power button and nothing happens. So some solutions that have been suggested are do some kind of electronics reset, hold these two buttons. There's a method where you open and close the door while pushing a power button and so on in an attempt to reset the electronics. Some people have gone as far as replacing the main PCB board inside. Um, the short term fix really is just to unplug it and plug it right back in. All right. Well, I guess even that's not working anymore. But that used to be the fix for you know, that we've used for the last month or so. So just unplugging and plugging them back in works, but uh, in five minutes or so, if you were to walk away and try to turn this back on, it would be back to the same story, it would be dead. So one thing I came across is that um, you can try to replace the noise filter, noise filter assembly in this washing machine. And apparently that, could have a positive impact on this yeah, because the noise filter also could be responsible for if your machine's not completing cycles or you have other power type related issues. So this is a, a $50 part compared to a $200 plus dollar part for the main board. So I figured I'd start with the cheaper one first and see if it doesn't resolve our issues here. Um, so that's what we'll be doing today, replacing the noise filter on this LG washing machine. This is a front loader, obviously. So the noise filter is just a, a piece of electronics that sits inside the washing machine. Um, and this part's been revised several times. I think this, uh, this part number here is the latest and greatest for my version, but you can check online resources like Repair Clinic, and there's a few other appliance parts stores that'll actually tell you what the right part number for your application is. And inside here, there's like a gel that's holding all these elements together to help with vibration issues. And maybe that's what causes these to fail, is the vibrations over time. So this is just a small piece that we're gonna replace. There's not a ton to it. Uh, I think it's one screw and two wiring harness that just snap in. So. Let's get to it and see if uh, that helps alleviate our power problem. Okay, step one is there's a couple of screws back here. Uh, it's just two screws. You can find them. There's these little, little plastic clips the right at them. So it's kind of a bad angle, but I'm doing it by myself. So just bear with me. I'm going to remove two screws, one on either side, and then we can pop the top off. Okay, these are just small Phillips head screws. Okay, here's another one. So that's two. Okay, from here is just the easy step of sliding this toward top lid towards the back of the machine a little bit and then you can uh, begin to lift up and it should come right off. Looking at the machine from the front you could see that my noise filter here is at the right back side and uh, let's unplug the machine here and you could see that uh, there's one screw right there that's holding it on and the two wire harnesses. There's a red one and a white one right there. And that should be it. You could see the unit has changed uh, colors a little bit different. And 
think that's mainly it. This piece here I see looks a little bit different. So hopefully this solves our issue. Let's go ahead and take the old one out. First I'm gonna unplug the wire harnesses. There's a little clip on the side that you push in and then you should be able to pull straight out. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the one screw holding it. There's also a pin up here that holds it and locates it properly. So, you could just slide it out. And here's the old part. It's a little bit yellowed on the inside, but there's no obvious signs of burning or, or signs of failure on this one. So we'll see. To install the new part, you just reverse the disassembly. So you slide it in here, you locate that pin. Now you could go ahead and replace the plastic screw. And then we'll replace the pins white to white till it clicks in and then the pink to the red till that clicks in. Make sure that's seated all the way and that's it. The replacement of the noise filter is complete. Let's go ahead and plug her in and see if I uh, fixed it. You can see that the machine's working, so that's a good sign, but no real great surprise there because it was working after unplugging, plugging back in last time. Okay, I've shut the machine off and I'm gonna put the lid back on and button everything up. Last time I turned off for maybe two or three minutes, it wouldn't come back on without unplugging and plugging back in. So while I replace the lid, let's see if uh, we could get it turned back on afterwards. Replacing the lid is also straightforward. There are grooves that sit and catch on these screws. There's four of them front and back, and uh, they just need to slide into the slots on the lid. So just place it back, maybe a couple inches off the front, <clears throat> let it drop down. And then as you slide it back forward, it will uh, catch on those screws and that's it. Now it's just a matter of replacing the two Phillips heads that you took out from the back. Okay, it's been less than a couple minutes here, and if I press the power button, absolutely nothing happens. So there you go, your $50 noise filter. is not the problem with these LG washing machines. So now you know, if you have this issue where the washing machine doesn't turn on, replacing noise filters is unlikely to do anything for you unless you could note any specific damage to the part here.
Okay, let that be a lesson to you that replacing the noise filter does not do anything to fix the washing machine. The reason this one turns on now is because I put the old noise filter back in. I buttoned everything up, I plugged it back in, and so it's just working because I unplugged it and plugged it back in. But as you saw, when I put the new part in, it didn't do jack, unfortunately. So the replacement part is going back and we're gonna keep searching for a solution. If you know how to fix this, post up in the comments. Thanks for watching.